I'm going to quickly go over adding custom parameters to your title block. So in this example, both of these are custom parameters. They don't exist, you know, in the out-of-the-box choices. So essentially when you create a label or edit a label and you click on add a parameter, so if it's something that doesn't exist on here, you're going to have to create it. So you're going to add a parameter. You only have an option for it to be shared. So you can either use your existing um, shared parameter list or you can create a new one. And I divide mine up into categories based on what it's going to be tied to, unless it's very generic and it's tied to multiple things. So you can see that in here I've created, you know, my different ones. And if I look at these and I edit, you guys are going to want to create a new one. So you would create whatever the new parameter is and then whatever it's tied to. So in most cases it's going to be text or number um, in a title block. So we'll just say custom parameter test. Now make sure you get it right the first time because you cannot come up and change these after the fact. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel. I'm going to show you what I mean by that. If I sh select this sheet X and go into properties everything's grayed out. I can see what it is and how it was created, but I cannot modify it. One additional thing I want to point out is that if you do need to modify this parameter, so by that I mean delete it and recreate it, it's going to have a different GUID. So potentially if you don't clean it out of everywhere, you could end up with two parameters in your project named Sheet X. So because they each have a different GUID, they would show up separately on, for example, a schedule. So just something to keep in mind. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom parameters for your title block and how to link them or tie them to your template or project. So I'm going to use a pretty basic example. I have sheet number of a total amount of sheet numbers. So if I look at this label, this is sheet X, so it's going to be instance based. And this one is going to be type based because my total is always going to be the same for the set. So we'll go ahead and load this into our project. I've started just a blank project, so I'm going to load it in. And if you're in a non-sheet view, you're going to get this warning, so just ignore it. I'm going to go down and create a new sheet. And which, you know, title block I want to use. So if I select this, you'll notice that my question marks are red and that means that I cannot modify that information. So things that can't be modified, like the project number is something I can modify, I just can't modify it by selecting the title block. So, but in this case with the red question marks, that means that the parameters haven't been tied to this project yet. So what I have to do is I have to go to the Manage tab and go to Project Parameters you're going to want to make sure you have access to your shared parameter file. So I'm going to add that shared parameter and from whatever, whichever category. So I know that it was sheet X and I want it tied to sheets. And there are some things that are instance based and some are type based. Now I know that I want this one to be instance based, so I'll just go ahead and leave it that way. And then wherever you want to, you know, lump it in, so text for now or title text is whatever you prefer. And we'll say OK. And then now when I select this, you'll notice that question mark is blue, so that means I can modify that parameter. Now if you have your um, options set for your graphics, for your selection color to be blue, I would recommend you change it because then it's easier to tell which ones are active and which ones aren't. So now I need to do the same process for that other parameter and I don't have to have the title block selected. That was just by accident. So now I'm going to add the other parameter 
and I know that it is total sheets. Now this one is where it gets a little bit weird because I know I need it to be type based. Okay, so if I change this to type, sheets is no longer on this list. So to get around that, I need to set it to project information. So even though project information shows up under instance based, anything you put in there will be considered a type parameter. So I'll put this in the same location and say OK and OK. So we'll go ahead and type in one of however many we're going to have as our total, say 25. So now when I add new sheets, the 25 will be consistent and then just the one or two or whatever number that you know this happens to be is what I would change.